and smallest non-uniform bendings. Initially, the slotted weights sit in the middle of the bar. The pin sit in the middle of the bar and the scale suspended the two knife edges. The distance between the two knife edges is known as the length of the bar. Now, a microscope view the pin tip the optical views the set the reading questions of W non-uniform painting loading questions of microscope initially the pointer is portions at the horizontal lines is the reading portions the check readings for W. Then after adding 50 grams, the pointer move upward direction. Then vertical screw adjusted. Again, you set the pointer at the horizontal lines. Get reading for W plus 50. Similarly, you find reading of microscope. The initially set W microscope readings and get a microscope vertical screws, MSR value and VCs. This value note loading of W. Next to add 50 grams and the pin view goes upper directions. Now set the horizontal lines and get reading for a W plus 50. Next add 50 grams. The total mass is W plus 100. Similarly, the pin image set horizontal lines and get readings for W plus 100. Next add 50 grams. The total mass is W plus 150. The pin move upward directions. A vertical screw adjuster to set horizontal lines and get ready for microscope, MSR value and uh, vernier scale coincident divisions. Add one more 50 grams. The total mass is W plus 200 is the maximum weight. Similarly set the horizontal positions of pin view and get reading score W plus 200 of loading positions. Unloading portions, the W plus 200 grams, the reading the same for loading and unloading. After remove the 50 grams, the pointer move the downward directions. Next you adjust the vertical microscope screws and set the horizontal lines and get reading for W plus 150. Similarly, we find the reading of microscopes. The unloading questions mass above 50 grams, the pin move a downward directions, and the pin view set horizontal lines. Use vertical screws of microscope and get reading for MSR and uh, variable coincidence. Here the total mass is W plus 150. Next we remove one more 50 grams and set horizontal lines using microscope vertical screws. Get readings for MSR and VCs.
Next you remove 1 more 50 grams. Where the total mass is double plus 50. The pin move downward directions and set horizontal lines. And get readings for double plus 50 of unloading positions. Finally, remove one more 50 grams. The microscope view the pin move downward directions and uh, set horizontal lines using the microscope screws and uh, do the readings of vernier scale and the main scale readings. So this is a uh, loading and unloading positions of non-uniform painting calculations. Next we find breadth of the bore and uh, thickness of the bar values. Here the bar first we find breadth of the bar using vernier coliform. Here the vernier coliform having two scales. One is the main scales reading and there is a vernier scale readings. The vernier scales, the main scales is okay. The first of the five different places get readings of vernier scales readings and main scales readings values. Here the vernier coliform. In this case, the uh, zero error, zero correction. This is zero. So directly, you calculate observed readings is equal to and correct readings values. Next, we find thickness of the bar using screw gauge. The screw gauge, uh, yeah, the two scales. One is a uh, pitch scale, another is a uh, supply scale, head scales values. Yeah, the least consists point zero one mm. So the same uh, values for. Uh, Five different places. What are the thickness of the bar? Okay. In this case, the pitch scales are having uh, each division is one mm values. We have the head scales value hundred divisions. The opening lines of pitch scales has a uh, value of pitch scales readings. The center lines coincide in the head scales value, which head scales readings values. So we find the five uh, different uh, places. What are the thickness of the bar? Finally, we calculate uh, this value, uh, submit the tabulations, and uh, given the formula, easily calculated what are the non uniform bending, Young's smallness of the bar.